the end of last episode, we supercharged our ARC device, and we're now prepared to, well, maybe separate ourselves from this remnant that's supposedly trying to kill us, and uh, we'll maybe find out a little bit more about what the actual zone really is. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to Pacific Drive. Yes, uh, last episode was a little goofy, and it was just because I was trying to do one particular thing, and that one particular thing didn't work. I was trying to find a whole bunch of those recordings, the little the little things that we have in this little this dude over here, and we'll talk about it in a second. And uh, hey, looks like we have one of the problems. Did you see it? Let's see if it goes away. Sometimes, especially in the garage, you'll get artifacts that will cause a visual problem that is still happening. That's not game ending, so we'll not worry about it. Sometimes I'll end up with one that cuts clear through the garage and you can't play the game. But anyhow, uh, yes, we did a little bit of goofing around. I was trying what I was going to want to do, and I know we've been kind of putting this on the back burner, uh, this wall protects people getting, but by God, I hope it stops those things from trying to get out. Yes, we, we know they've already gotten out at this point in time. I've left this particular thing alone, mainly because for those of you that want to play the game, I want to leave this to you. This is one of those things where you can get to sit down and read all of these little stories. The majority of everything in here, aside from, uh, there's a couple little deals down here. Can I get these to go to the top? I think if I do this, this, well, I have to do something like that, 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 and that. Okay. Everything from here up is a thing that you find in a Numa tube. It's one of the little red things. It's it's a story. And a lot of them you can just catch up with in your logbook, I believe either in, let me see, there should be here or something like that, wherever they are. But they're, they're just a story. It's just a little, it's an ism. So like if you read as you go through this story, and I'm gonna, I guess we're going to kind of talk about it because we're probably getting ready to be about done with the story. But even if you read some of the things like the, well, like the pacemaker, this is an anomaly. It's a a thing that they just kind of, you know, it's not so much a description of what the thing is, it's like an experience of what it's like to find it. So when you're reading the stuff that's in here, it's not necessarily what I would consider a factual piece of lore for the most part. I mean, the lab reports are pretty good, but for the most part what you're finding in here is an, ex an experience from somebody else, which is fine, and I'm not going to, like I said, share it. The only thing I was really after, and I may still try to work on it a little bit, is these. Apparently there are nine parts to the frequency file system, and getting through that many nine parts, that it, there's a considerable amount of things, and I mean by nine parts, I mean by nine files with however many parts that go in it. That's listenable lore that you can kind of fiddle around with, and that's what I was kind of looking at maybe doing. Uh, last time. So it didn't happen mainly because of the, well, I think we're at a point now where everything that we can see as far as those are concerned are not wiped in here. And it takes, unfortunately, a scan to be able to see it. So it's not like one of those things where I can just, you know, put my button on the thing and go, should I go here? No, I have to scan each individual node on this map to try to hopefully run into one of those little recorders and then, you know, be able to go there and look at it. So it's not something that is very easy to find. So as far as anything else is concerned, again, I uh, did a little bit of work on the car last time. We've been kind of running around with a couple of upgrades that I didn't kind of get to talk about a little bit. But a uh, magnetic bumper, I went ahead and uh, researched it and made it and put it on. This thing is fantastic. If you're running out of scrap or if you're trying to get a hold of scrap or if you're trying to go to the deep zone and you want to get a whole bunch of limb magnets, then just put this thing on. Essentially, and if you listen carefully while we're driving around, you'll hear the car go thunk, 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 thunk. That's this magnet bumper, or magnetic bumper, picking up a piece of scrap and putting it in its inventory. It's pretty cool. Uh, for the most part, the only thing I think you're going to use it late game again is to get a lot of limb magnets when you're not paying attention to everything else. She is now the color that I wanted it. The uh, forest green and, uh, well, wood paneling. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a little dark in here and you know how things go, but yes. Forest green, wood paneling. If you don't know the inference, then you need to go look up some Clark Griswold silliness. So you'll, you'll know what it is when you find it. Anyhow, for the rest of us, I do believe we're about as good as we're going to get in here 
for I've got a couple of little things that I need to remanufacture and make sure we have plenty of extras for and I do believe everything else is done as far as is concerned the thing that I would really like to get and I know it's one of those deals is this this uh, repair station however that repair station requires four limb chips I don't have enough Olympium right now uh, four limb chips I believe take something like 20 or 30 Olympium uh, yeah, 24. That's, um, that's a lot. That, that's a lot. And we don't have that much. And it's one of those we'll have to kind of work through that, should I care. A as far as I am aware, there's an extended amount of end game content. Once you're done, there's a lot of things you can kind of play with later on. Is there anything left in here that will help us on our journeys into the end of the world? Don't think so. I was kind of thinking about that. Seems to localize time dilation as possible, a bit within a contained space and demanding substantial energy. This device should reduce the apparent passage of time. It may also cause confusion, nausea, and flatulence. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, there, there are some things that I could see maybe long term if you're trying to play the game for a period of a very long time that you might want to hang on to. And as I stated a while back, a Lazarus device, you have to die. You've got to end a run. And for those of us that are kind of insane I don't really have an interest in dying now I'm not gonna test it and I was going to test it I'm fine with running gasoline and running all of the fuels that we have so as far as it goes the difference between what we have now and this is well a lot of horsepower boy not a whole lot enough make or I'm gonna worry about it and again this limb chipped engine I really don't really think for the last run it's worth our time the car seems to be reasonably well, and at this point, I might just put some all-terrain tires on her just to get a little bit more highway speed. But I think as far as this little prattle and rattle on is going on, we've done what we've needed to do, I think, to get to the mid, uh, well, the mid zone, excuse me, the deep zone. Now, hey, let's see what you got. You got anything good for us? Three chemicals, beautiful. Okay, nothing that I'm really concerned about. All right. So I'm going to go do this. We're going to take a see whether or not we can get through all the way up to where we're going to go over there. And then we're going to go and see if we can get all the way over to there. And then I'll gather up all the things. I don't think she's got anything nasty on her. I'm pretty sure I fixed everything before. No, I didn't. Ooh. Uh, I might have to go look at that before we go. I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of setup, figure figure things out, and then we'll... I guess probably see what we can do about getting on into the deep zone and maybe maybe there I am concerned about this storm and I know that I only have I've got five what is it three or four rerolls I forget how many rerolls we actually get I don't know if I can get in there far enough to make this pretty to make it nice to us so we should theoretically be able to take that highway to there and then do that one and then go over there and pop this open maybe or come down when you see these little those shields like this that means there's an interconnecting highway to that point somewhere uh just like there's an interconnecting highway over there somehow some way that shield gets connected now is it worth our time to try to go over there and unlock that shield maybe maybe not i don't know we'll find out i have a little bit of uh i've got to figure this out because i'm not going again into the zone without knowing what this thing has on it and i'll see you guys in a little second oh come on it's the same thing that we've done like a hundred times yeah it's the same thing we've done a hundred times Alrighty, I think I'm just going to do a really quick look see and make sure we are as good as we can do with all of this stuff. Yes, we can. Cool. Let's... How bad is that thing? It's got a while. Sure. Cool. I'm going to say we're probably good. She's been running here. I just got done doing a little bit of troubleshooting. So you dump all of that out. We'll go pick a route and see what we can't do. I am unsure if we're gonna get through this cloud in order to get there. So if I need to do some running, I'm gonna do some running. Let's see what we can do. So our best option is going to be probably to here, then to here, then to there. We're gonna 
gonna let me do it. Can I re-roll that? Once. Alright, cool. Let us re-roll it. Torn apart. I don't want to know what torn apart is. Okay. So, we're gonna try to run the highway. I'll probably do this, then this, then over here and see what we come up with. If this is the end of the game, guys, this is the end of the game today, and it is what it is, and we'll have a discussion about it when we get to the end of it. But I've got to get over and figure out how that all works out. So I will uh, see what we can do about maybe sharing a little bit of this, but let's go. Then to the next step on the highway. All right. I believe this is a. Hang on a minute. Let's uh. Let's let's look at this really quickly. Route map. Route map. Thank you. Now we're up uh, here. Which means I need to keep moving. Good, good, good. Keep going. We're fine. Let's just get through this. Again, need probably a small sampling of energy. There's two of them right there, so we'll grab it. I just... If we end up stuck, and we're... This is supposedly ready to get us out of here. But if we end up stuck, we're going to need at least four or five charges, I believe, to get back if we get stuck. Meaning something happens and we have to leave this before it gets over with. I am not planning on ending one of these runs prematurely, but you never know. So I just need to gather up some stuff. Hey, there's a road. Let's stay on the road. It's alright. But all we're after at this point is energy. And, uh, you know, a better driver. gonna like me today because I'm not gonna be very nice. up here yes I will take one of you you guys are friendly you're a good guy come on up here and uh, help charge our battery oh crap I just blew him off the thing I'm sorry where'd you go well he's not worth my time to try to gather it's raining right now anyway so who knows pick it up put it in let's get yeah we won't worry about it right now we're pretty well solid as far as I am concerned. Get out of here. Alright, we need to go over there. Find a road, get on it. Complete wrong way. Oh, it Look at these clowns. Look at these clowns. I I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you're you're gonna. I think we have one. Yes, yes, we do. I'm sorry. You are all gone. Bye. Sitting there covering that up. Sure, we'll sit down in a rainstorm underneath the cover and charge our batteries and repair our car and 
fill it up full of fuel. Ooh, pearl, nice. Um, is there a fuel thingy here? Hello. Uh, I don't know why I do that. I've got uh, the thing right here. Um, no, it's not a fuel stop. Nice. So it's just a, a charger, repair station, everything else. How do we look then? Are we good? We're pretty good. The car is a little effed because of where it's parked. Can you close the door? Okay, close the door. Thank you. Alright. Nice. Alright, so we need to go back down the direction we came to the next nearest corner and then back out. So, good enough. Let's go. Turn the lights on. Where's the road? There's the road. All right. Drive on, drive on. Eh, no, 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 no. Where is our corner? Right there, guarded by a couple more of these clowns. You guys are gonna be the death of me, I'm pretty certain. play this the next time when I play it is I need to get rid of that function the the throw on the the uh, the mouse the left mouse or the right mouse button that's definitely a uh, it's, it's annoying it's definitely annoying click close uh, I thought I had a friend here you can come for a ride we're almost out although my battery's charged up so it doesn't really matter but let's get and I haven't even had a problem, so okay. I brought a lot of stuff along in case I was going to need it, but I guess I don't need it. Um, get a new door. Have a good one, my friend. Onwards. Lettuce. Okay. Next stop, deep zone. This might be a little bit of fun. Do we have, we have Olympian veins, so if we run in some Olympian vein stuff, we might go ahead and try to find it. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We'll get that one first. Uh, torn apart, I believe that means our stuff dies quicker. Yeah, okay, this is one of those ones you got to be paying attention to. Torn apart, if we end up with any explosions close to the car, we probably need to pull over and make sure that nothing fell off. So, this is why I'm kind of glad I made a whole lot of repair, buddy. 
Anyhow, onwards, let's see what we get. Now, I'm only going to be after Olympian veins and I think balloons, maybe? I don't know. Beach balls, I think, is what they're called. Uh, and I guess we can do that since it's right there. I'm not going to be out hunting parts terribly, but if I have a bumper full of metal, we'll go ahead and dump it into one of these. How much did we get? That's not bad. Love to push the right button. I believe five is what it can do. Gotta quit playing other games while I'm playing games for YouTube. Okay, we put five stimulated stacks in. Are we empty? Science says we are, and there's still just a little bit left, which means it probably can do a couple more. Whatever, I'm gonna pick these all up. Um, oh, it didn't take all the scrap. Interesting, how much scrap do we have left in us? We have two. Huh. Uh, I don't know exactly the number then. I, I'm gonna have to do science on that maybe, or maybe not. I really don't know. Put this away. How are we on fuel? We're doing well on fuel. We've been literally just running down the highway, which is interesting. So, all right, we need to go over there, grab that, and then get out of here. There's a wall section here. Oh. Well, let's go see real quick. without you blasting me in the sky, you twit. I don't like those at all. Alright, our bar is full. We don't need any more. I don't like those. They're just awful. You know what? We're leaving. We're here, we're leaving. I'm at that point. Thank you. You just stabbed a snap out of my car. Back up, ruin one of my tires. Explosive bunnies everywhere. Can I fix my tire, please? Yeah, I know, I parked on a hill. How messed up is my car? Oh, hey. Okay, I can fix that, maybe. Gather all the seal kits, put them in your pocket, because this is the time it's going to have to be that time. Okay. And I thought I had the thing on me still. We're going to bring our all of our gear from here on. We're just, we're beating the snot out of things, so. No. No. Surprisingly enough, everything else seems to be maintaining. I don't know why. Kind of hurrying, and uh, the game is, I guess, not used to that from me. Let's get. Alrighty, we're to the gate. I'm going to pull over and whack everything that looks like it needs whacked with a little bit of putty. that tire because I'm a little concerned about it. Oh, we 
we have a lot of things slowly die. Oh, my. Yes, several things that are slowly dying. Once again, kind of expected most of this to not be available when we got back. Do one final look over. Battery's as good as it's going to get. That door's going to fall off. We don't really care. I mean, I suppose... Now, I think we'll just uh, roll some dice and shut the radio off and go through the gate and see what the next final section has. Perpetual stability, we are at the end of the world and uh, well, I guess we're going to find out what we're fixing to see in just a second. Maybe. Is this really at home? I was a worm before I was a man. I was a creature before I could stand. I remember before I forget. Thank you for trusting me when you had every reason not to. Getting to this point together with you. Oh my god, what the hell are they going to throw us into? It's. All right, ladies and gentlemen, These apparently... Are they real? I, I, I can't even begin to guess what could be outputting this much radiation. Is this the scenic Except overlook? Let's take a look. A massive fission reaction or a, a portal. Atlantis. <laughs> if this thing really leads us to Atlantis... I'm turning in my PhD. Yeah, I'm turning in my driver's license. If only Tobias were here to see it. I would have liked to hear his take on all this. For once. This is, um... This is interesting. This is coming from a person who's played a fair amount of games. To include Doom and... Troll and, and... And some of the other things. That's a pretty... Interesting sight for a game like this, I guess. I, I don't know what to say. We just get off the road and we get back in the car and we go. We're geared. We have a full charge plus the charge that we supposedly gained in that one area. Hopefully, if we have to, we can pop a portal and get out of here. I don't know. We'll see. Now, I will say that I am playing this currently after the updates, and I do read, um, I do read change logs regardless of spoilers, so I will say that this particular run has happened after the change or the fix that caused a soft lock, hard lock here, which sh we should not see, hopefully. So I will say that. But other than that, we're going to let him talk. I'm probably going to shut up drive his car into the what looks like a portal from hell. All I'll right, see you Tyler, guys on the other side. to the threshold. Remember, Francis and I have got your back. Once you get that car to the well, we'll keep the gamma ray burst under control for as long as we can. Whatever happens, whatever state you find yourself in, the Octavice will be your safety net. Use it. Get back to us, you hear me? Ready when you are, driver. Uh, I guess. What's up? Let's back up this hill. Why not? hurrying and jumped the thing and didn't intend for it. Oh, the fog's gonna come in lovely. This might actually be pretty then. Smack into whatever it is that you just ran into. What do we have in our things? We've got we've got stuff, we've got things. We should be good to go. Hopefully I mean, I've got a flashlight if we have to worry about it. I've got, I've got stuff and things and sadly well, I guess there's an art truck. Let's see what's in it. Maybe, maybe there's the the, the, the end all be all story right here. <laughs> nope, it's a bunch of garbage. All right, well I'll put that away. Let's uh, take a ride, shall we? Is there anything good on the radio? <laughs> I guess.
vibe of a game I've played before and I know exactly what it's like. Might be the one after this one. Coffee delivery. Oh, Alan, gosh. Is it that time already? So, uh, about leaving off. I was thinking oh, about my Christmas. Yes, maybe. I just need to solve this instability issue. I love to think about leaving the Olympic Peninsula like this. Yeah, there's always more to do. I know. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. I'm just wondering if you'll really be able to walk away from all this. It's okay if you can't. You abandoned the world to work here beside me. Fair is fair. Lentech is a world-changing discovery. Your world-changing discovery. Fairness isn't even a consideration. We agreed to have children, and I'm not having them in this hellhole. Good, because I'd love to have eight. <laughs> then I hope you're ready to carry at least half of those yourself. I love you. I love you. I love you. I am worried about where I'm supposed to be going. I'm hoping I'm just following this very linear path, looking at all these televisions, feeling very much like I'm in another time world game thing that actually very much looks like something I'm familiar with and it's not this game whoa can I you, did, did you not like that oh we, we needed to go over there I'm sorry mouse button I should not input I just need to keep walking forward sorry continue Tobias the movers are here wait why aren't you packed? I ain't going. The evacuation orders... The evacuation orders can go to hell. We leave, and we never see the inside of these walls again. All the things we've been investigating, the ripple, the echoes from the swamp, they'll all fade away. I'm going to stay and chase down these stories, wherever they take me. Nice me touch. Stay. stay here with me. Let me just let the game do the thing. Hands off controller. Drop next. Controller. I don't play with controller. I'm here to deliver the committee's decision. You have been found guilty of doctoring experimental data. This action is in clear violation of artist scientific integrity. Judgment has been rendered. You may stay in work, but your clearance will be lowered to level three. So I'm to be a glorified flash cleaner. Take it as a win. You could have been court-martialed instead. Yeah. I'm sure you would have liked that much better. What I like has no bearing on this decision. See you on Monday, Dr. Cook. Jesus. That's a... Well, there you go. Into that. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a little bit more history. Jesus, I don't like that. Driver, driver, do you read me? Yeah, I'm, driver, I'm, hello. You passed through some sort of opening. We, we managed to hold it steady, but the energy expulsion is growing. We don't have much longer. If you can hear this, you need to get back now. Okay. Hey, look, the gang's back together. Tobias? I, um... Uh... I never told you how grateful I was that you stayed behind in the zone with me. These years, oh. <laughs> best of my life. Foraging for mushrooms, slogging through swamplands, combing through hours and hours of terrible field recordings. Not a single moment wasted. Thank you. For everything. It was all you. You made me feel capable. That anything was possible. 
that I wasn't some second-rate scientist. All my happiness was thanks to you. And I'm afraid... I'm afraid of how I'll survive without you. I'm not. You got this. You always have. Hey, Appy. Alan sends his regards. And he wants to know why you haven't taken his advice yet. <laughs> uh... Okay, was that fast or forward? Is that a gun to on your dash? No, oh, I'll be damned. Uh, Bye. Until next time. Yeah. Tobias. Tobias. What Driver, the... if you could hear this, we can't keep the well stable for much longer. Wherever you are, come back. Hey, could. I'd love to know where the hell I am right now. Let me out. This is, um... Okay, move on. I, 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 okay, go, 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 go. Apparently, I need to get out of this hellhole. It's starting to change colors that I don't like. Caution. Caution. Reading warning signs, nothing to be read. Move. Caution. Once again, nothing left to be read. Restricted area. Authorized personnel only. They can right screw the hell off. Let's get Okay. Boink. We've seen those on the gates. Are we out? There's our friend. Our friend that hasn't let us down this whole time. Oh my. Are those all the pathways we just walked? I am getting some serious vibes from a game that I absolutely adore. No wonder. Pick it up. Sorry, honey. We have a thing. <sighs> I wasn't going to make one because they're awful. But if you're going to give me one game, by golly, all means, we'll take it with us. It doesn't look great. For those of you that don't know, this really, 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 really looks like a particular game made by Remedy. Which we might eventually one day play on this channel. We're told to leave. I don't like that. Why is my stuff broken? We have meteors. We have meteors. They're landing. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't like meteors. No, please. Nope, nope, nope. Let me out. Let me out. Nope, nope. The anchor field is wobbling. Poppy. Anything we can do to... Oh, gosh. Punching it as hard as I can.
That was rude. Very rude. You guys can have this. Just, 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 I've got the shield on. I don't even care if you stick. Hey, and we hit the thing. That is a hell of a portal. Am I gonna go backwards into it? Keep driving backwards, you're fine. Drive. Drive, kiddo. Drive. <laughs> Figured I'd lost it. Shut up. You made it back, driver. All in one piece, it looks like. And no sign of the Remnant's energy signature anywhere in that car. Y you're free. But the car's maintained its link to you. Fascinating. We'll never know how far the Remnant's obsessions wormed into your head. But you should be safe from it getting any worse. In theory. Poppy, I'm sorry. You didn't get to talk to Alan again. We managed to pull off the near impossible. And the first thing you do is apologize? Sorry, I, I mean, um... <laughs> Don't worry, it was Tobias's fault. He hogged the frequency all for himself yet again. You heard him too. I did. That means I didn't imagine that last conversation with Alan. And you know what else? What? <sighs> that your theory was right. And Tobias called it. All that bluster, and he ended up showing us scientists a thing or two. Those moments we heard, they were all from the past. Being inside that well somehow allowed the remnant to access those imprints and replay them. But Tobias's voice wasn't from the past, it was from somewhere else entirely. But where? And how? No clue. Do me a favor. Once you figure it out, don't bother telling me. <clears throat> I'm leaving the zone. I'm sorry, what? Alan came to tell me goodbye, and that I was forgiven 37 years ago. <laughs> I didn't listen. So now, finally, I'm going to take his advice. I should have left the zone a long time ago. But if we solve this, maybe there's a way to speak to him again. I heard what I needed to hear. It only took me 37 years to listen. <laughs> anyway, all that sounds like a young scientist game. It's not for me anymore. Francis, you decide what to do from here. You can carry the torch and continue the research, or get out of this cursed place and find your own way. It's your decision. And driver, you're free now. You can do what you want from here. But if you'll allow an old woman one last hope, stay here with Francis. There's so many more stories for the zone to tell. I don't know about that. If you are young enough to listen, my ears are bad. And I refuse to hear them. I've removed all access restrictions to my systems, Francis. The helm is yours. Wait, I... I don't know if I can do this alone. You're not alone. You've got clear eyes, ears open to the impossible, and the driver. Uh... Dr. Cook? Driver? It's been a pleasure. Um... This is Dr. Ophelia Turner. Signing off. Abby? Uh, Abby! Uh, well, uh, I, um... Yeah. Driver, if you don't mind sticking around with me, Oppy was right. There's still so much of the zone that we still don't know about. But with your help, we can tell those stories. I, I'm no Oppy, but I'll do the best I can. You're no longer bound to the car, but it stayed with you and will continue to protect you as you travel the zone. Go on, then. As long as you're willing to drive, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I uh, had to cut the credits out mostly because I believe some of the stuff that's in that is possibly going to be copyright protected, so we have to kind of stop it from there, but we can continue to kind of have our little quick discussion. Um... This is an excellent game. For those of you that are looking to play it or give an idea as to how it works, there's plenty of things to do and plenty of things for pre people like me that like to, you know, run around and scout and loot and hoard and do all of that fun things and, you know, gather up all the 
the goodness that one can get a hold of, you know, just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of random junk that you can go ahead and gather up and bring around and do all the kinds of things. Plus lots of little things to find. I think the, the most interesting thing that I found out of profound with it so far is that the uh, regardless of whether or not you might end up with one of five or six different types of zone, uh, junctions, depending on what's going on in here, you will generally end up with something pretty interesting and you know and fun for the most part every single one of these little spots that you stop in are going to give you some kind of an experience which is really 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 enjoyable i'm um, looking between this and my test world my we've been kind of following both along fairly carefully i've got a little over a hundred hours i believe now or a little under a hundred hours in this game between two saves so it is definitely what i would consider to be replayable and i've had a lot of fun Normally I wouldn't sit down and have a little talk about things, but the way that this one is built, it's so it's so just absolutely right down the kind of alley that I like to wander. I know that's kind of a, you know, a thing, but it is what it is. It's been a lot of fun to kind of, you know, experiment and play around with the various parts, pieces that you can put on the car and start to learn exactly what it can and cannot take when you're out driving around out there. And there's there's definitely some things that I think they maybe could have done a little bit better I mean namely the fact that if you're gonna give me a we can talk about that right off the bat if you're gonna give me power grip tires they had better be triple a in all 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 of the locations all terrain tires for what I've seen I, I just kind of as just an, the thing that goes in here you can cater to everything that you want in order to be able to be pretty pretty happy with the performance of your car but then there's this spot in here where you spend so much time pretty much not driving on the road because there's so much garbage on the road all the time, you're in the woods anyway. So I never really got past, I've, I've tested the puncture proof tires. They're not amazing because they're really just for being on road. Once you get over a, once you lose that A rating for off-road, off-roading capability, you lose your ability to climb hills and you lose your ability to drive reasonably quickly out in the woods and which is a problem because some of these uh, particular junctions actually that's all they are you'll show up and that'll be all it is the road will go into a big wide open pasture and well then you have to drive around inside pasture and if you really really want to be like one of those kinds of people that just want to be out in the you know in the woods looking for stuff instead of wandering a hundred you know meters or however far it is from where your car is to go pick up an anchor and then back well you know that's up to you I rather preferred being able to get from point A to point B with these instead of going through anything else so it's just kind of one of those little things where they did a really good job at adding a lot of interesting things to it but there's definitely some stopping points where you can just say nah that's good enough and it works um, as far as the car is concerned there are Olympian panels that we do have that we can unlock. Uh, they're expensive, and they're pretty much no better than what's on the outside of this car, from what I can tell. They just have a little bit more impact resistance or a little bit more durability, I believe. Let's look. So, like, an Olympian door has an impact resist of 15%, explosion resist of 10 and a health of 65 which is meant to replace the armor door, which is just ever so slightly better. Just ever so slightly better well here's the problem by the time you get to the point where this is where you're looking at and my my game is doing the little oddness i upgraded graphics and there's been an issue i don't know whether it's just something that i've got turned off in the game right now or whatever but it's definitely been acting a little wonky uh the olympian panels are great they're wonderful but by the time you get to that point where you're in the game unless you really plan on spending a lot of time digging around in the deep zone after you complete the game there's no point in putting any Olympium on the outside of your car because the parts it takes to be able to make the armored panels, which are not really all that great either, uh, are a heck of a lot cheaper in the mid zone. So cheaper and easier to find in the mid zone. So there's no point actually in kind of looking at that. So there's just a lot of little things like that that it's a really, really, really good game. And if you want to be that person that caters every little part of your car to your own personal play style, you can certainly do that. And I've kind of gotten to the point where I, I think I've got her about where I like her. I don't really think there's much else I'd like to do to this thing. Um, maybe outside of a an additional module, especially since the game was kind enough and gave us that brand new limb chip engine, which as long as it lasts, as long as it lasts, the problem is, is it's a starred, uh, it's a starred tool, which means I'm going to run that thing until it falls apart and then throw it in the trash can or whatever. But yes, that's definitely a thing.
Uh, as, as far as the rest of this goes, again, it's just it's just been an interesting game. There are a few little things that I really wish they would have done a little differently, one of which is this. All of the little written things, all of the red things that are in here, if I can get this to do this stuff. All of these in here. I understand. Voice acting, it's expensive. I get it. Most of what this is is a short little quick read, and it's over with. Frequency files, I know they spent a lot of money trying to get those frequency files done, or at least maybe they did, maybe they didn't, and I know there's a whole lot more. In today's society of people not being willing to read and or look at things, if all of these were read to you, you could have added at least another hour, maybe two per playthrough, per time, per whatever, depending on how long all of those go, to be able to, you know, just extend the game just a little bit longer. Now that's the other thing that I am going to kind of say that I am still a little bit on the fence about. It seems like they shoved the story down our throats very, 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 very quickly. To the point that honestly, if you know what you're doing and you can get through all of the little junctions reasonably quickly, you could probably beat this game in under 10 hours. I'm just gonna say that. The only reason why I'm gonna say that under 10 hours is because a lot of these junctions require you to do at least 30 minutes of drive time to get where you're going and do what you need to do so like it would take us probably 30 minutes just to get to where we ended up the la this episode which is going to be over in r2 uh, i believe that's where that is but i honestly think if you knew what you were doing and you didn't really care about the the, the outside of you know maintaining your car and getting all the stuff that needs to go on it you could probably get this over with reasonably quick, let's just say fairly quickly, very quickly actually, because they immediately just don't lock you behind anything other than exploration when it comes to the story. Like the first thing they had us do was go to Sierra. I mean, the legitimate first thing they had us do was go right there. And that's two hops from here. That was like 20 minutes of driving, if that. So um, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I, I get it, I understand. I think they could have done a little bit better of a job trying to maybe corral us into not driving around like a maniac all the time, or maybe allowing us to, you know, forcing progression behind story instead of giving us the progression immediately, kind of a thing. They told us right where we had to go right off the bat, when what we could have had to do was maybe go explore a little bit of the map in order to be able to unlock the next part of the zone. I get that they want to be able to push us through into the center to get this thing over with, and I get we're supposed to maybe feel like we're slightly rushed because maybe this thing is eating our brain cells alive. I don't know. I just kind of felt a little rushed, which is why I played it twice on the story. Anyhow, other than that, I've really enjoyed it. I think it's uh, it's a heck of a... It was a heck of a deal for the price that I paid for it. I'm not complaining at all about the amount of content and time that I got. It is very much replayable. Matter of fact, I can probably see myself coming back in six months and playing it from the beginning again once the story has kind of fallen out of my memory. It is an, the, the driving experience is reasonably okay. I mean, the level design is very samey, samey, samey. Once you get used to the, once you do a couple of junctions, once you do a couple of things, you start to notice how very samey it gets. And that's just because, well, there's only so much entertainment one can do before you just start putting rocks and roadblocks in the middle of the road so that people can't drive quick and force them off the road and do things like that. That was, again, it's kind of one of those, you could have done a little bit better job as to making things not quite so samey, but we're asking not a whole heck of a lot for a game that is this good. It's absolutely, honestly, something that I would recommend to just about anybody to play. It is super fun, super super easy to get into and again i think the biggest problem that a lot of people have is that they're 30 minute gamers and uh well 30 minute gamers can't play a game like this because on average a lot of these runs at least from point a to point b getting through a junction if you want to be really thorough about it will take you 35 to 45 minutes to find all of the usable stuff so it is one of those kinds of things that if you're a 30 minute gamer might as well just look elsewhere. If you're one of those persons that can sit down and enjoy a video game for, you know, hours on end or two hours or hour or whatever, if you can sit down and play this game for an hour straight, you'll have an absolute 
ball with it and that's just absolutely how it's built and i love it so anyhow i think we will call it here ladies and gentlemen i may get bored and do a little bit more with this as far as this is concerned and if i do so it will be in a live stream or something like that where i'll just get on and i'm bored on a saturday or something and decide we'll do a little drive we may try to do some of that this summer we'll just see how it goes anyhow thank you guys so much for watching this has been pacific drive and i've enjoyed the heck out of it i will see you all later